Hey CHWs and welcome back to your community health worker training um, in engagement and advocacy. Today we want to talk a little bit about client empowerment, um, what that means and why you want to do it and how it's going to help your goals as a uh, community health worker. So we're going to be defining what empowerment means um, and why it's important when working with clients. Uh, clients need to be empowered and uh, we want to learn why. Um, we're going to be discussing how we help clients in finding the goals that they need for themselves and the people around them, which are usually their families. Um, and we're going to be looking at a strength-based based approach on uh, how to complete those things that we had just discussed. So let's talk about um, empowerment first and foremost. What is it? Um, we define it as helping participants not only finding resources to meet the needs, but also helping um, identify their own strengths and resources so that they can make decisions that are beneficial to um, themselves and their families. So the main thing here is we want to work in collaboration. We're working with our clients to help uh, themselves. So ask yourself and maybe just think on why we want to empower clients. Um, if hopefully you can answer that right now. And uh, whenever you're working with a client, you need to find out what those goals are um, and what is the point of empowering our clients. In empowering our clients, we want to um, we want our clients to be able to identify their goals uh, and take steps towards their goals. Uh, we want them to have self-efficacy, which uh, means they have belief and confidence in him or herself to be able to make those changes. We want them to have more knowledge about and greater confidence in navigating the health system which doesn't necessarily mean that they will completely understand how healthcare works. I think that's a very difficult task, uh, just that they will have an idea and know what questions to ask and who to ask. We want participants to be able to find and access resources in their communities on their own, and of course, share their knowledge and experience with friends, family, and community to be able to uh, engage in their health and want them to ask questions, make decisions to better their own health and to feel confident about their ability to uh, be a parent or be a family member. Okay. And of course, want them to feel positive and capable of doing all those things on their own. So how do we do that? Uh, a lot of the times that is the hard part of being a CHW. So we're going to be talking about uh, the ways that we try to develop a client's abilities. One of those ways is the strengths based approach. Uh, a strengths based approach uh, does not ignore problems and challenges, but seeks to activate the person's assets and resources to address those problems and challenges. Uh, a person's strengths usually include their personal qualities, are they resilient, do they have determinations, what talents and skills do they already possess, uh, the, what are their networks of social support, do they have a great group of friends, uh, do they have family members that are very close to them, or even just one family member that they talk to a lot, and who are their connections to uh, external resources or what community programs are around them. A strengths-based approach focuses on the person rather than just the problem. Uh, it works with that person to focus on their individual hopes for the future and identifies what options and steps you can take into making those things uh, a reality. Remember that clients are unique individuals. Clients are not a grouping of problems that you are trying to solve or fix. We want you to be able to focus um, on building a competency um, and maximizing um, the abilities of people um, in a bunch of different ways. 
So we're going to watch a quick video on how you can start developing that strengths-based approach.